Okay, here's a little how-to on the HANA phosphate checker. This I'm going to do the low range test. And I'm doing this just because every once in a while I see people have problems with um, either the test timing out before they're done or getting readings that are um, a little bit all over the place. Uh, this is just how I do it. Um, first thing I do is I take the, the vial and I fill it up with water. I borrow one of these from one of my other test kits. Makes it a little bit easier than uh, dipping the vial in and dumping it out and trying and match it up on that line. That gets pretty gets it pretty close. Um, the next thing I do is I take the take the reagent that goes in before I even start doing the test. Go ahead and cut that top off. And then I'll make a make a little funnel on the side. I like to make sure that none of the powder is caught in the corners. Making a little funnel right there on the side. Set that down for now. And first thing for the meter, do one click. And you see that comes up, C1 press, open it up, stick the vial with the water in. This is the calibration. Uh, let me just make sure you don't want to have any fingerprints or anything on there. You want to try and eliminate um, air bubbles, anything like that in there that could affect the, the test. So we'll put that in. Quick press again. Let it calibrate. Okay, now that's calibrated. Pull this back out. Add all the powder. Looks like I got all of it. Spill a little bit on the table. So, all right. Figures. Trash comes as soon as I'm doing this. Makes the dog go crazy. Shake this up for like 30 seconds. You have, um, I believe it's a minute and a half before the test times out. I'm going to get most of that dissolved in there. Get the fingerprints off again. Try and get air bubbles off the side if you can. Push it back in. And now you press and hold until the clock starts. Then you have three minutes. I won't bore you with the full three minutes. So I'll edit this part out and cut back in in a few seconds. Okay, about 15 seconds left. Um, after this countdown, it uh, takes usually just a couple seconds and then it'll give you your end reading. Um, I like to not move the, the unit at all either when it's um, calibrating or when it's taking the final meter because it uses light okay the final reading is 0.25 because um, it uses light to measure it and if you're moving it around you can get air bubbles or particles or things like that coming in that could affect the reading so um, I just like to set it there and, and leave it be that's it um, I don't have any problems or haven't had any problems doing it this way um, I think that's about the standard way that it's done. So I don't, if anybody has any other ideas or tips, you know, feel free to share them. Thanks.